Today, we'll look at how you can get voice chat on Roblox. Let's dive in. First, head to the following website. You could click on the card right up above. I've also included a link in the description or simply go to this address that you see right here. Once you finish signing in, you'll land here in settings. Over on the left-hand side, make sure that you're on the account info tab. To be able to use voice chat on Roblox, you have to be at least 13 years old. And you also have to either verify your phone number right here or if you don't have a phone number, you can also verify your age with an ID. You can do one or the other. However, I recommend probably doing both. And the reason why is if you verify your age, that also unlocks additional experiences within the game. Up on top to verify your phone number, click on this text that says add phone. In this prompt, type in your phone number and then down at the bottom, click on continue. Next, you'll need to provide a one-time code that's been emailed to the email address that you have associated with your Roblox account. And next, they'll also text you a code to your phone number that you'll need to enter down below. Enter that in. Once you're done, click on continue. Lastly, you can also decide whether friends can find you based on your phone number. Up above, you can either select yes or no. I'll leave it set to yes and then click on done. And just like that, my phone number has now been verified. Now that you've verified your phone number, you can start using voice chat on Roblox. However, if you did not have a phone number to verify, you can also verify your age by clicking on this button. Let's go through that flow. On this next screen, you'll need to prepare a valid ID. Once you have that, grab your smartphone and then scan in this QR code. On this screen, down at the bottom, let's click on begin verifying. Next, you'll have to specify the country that your ID is from. Here you have a large list of lots of different countries. I'm in the United States, so over here, I'll click on select. Next, you'll need to indicate what type of ID. Look through this list and select the one that you have. And next, you'll need to take a photo of your ID. To take a photo, let's click on this icon down below. And next, you have to allow this website to use your camera. Let's click on allow. And here, I'll now take a picture of my ID. If everything looks good, click on use this photo. Next, you'll also have to take a photo of the back of your ID. If it looks good, click on use this photo. And once that's all done, it'll now process your ID. Next, you'll also need to take a photo of yourself so they can confirm that you are in fact the person who's on the ID. Let's click on get started. And then here, take a picture of yourself. And look at that, we're now all done. And lastly, you'll have to wait for the results now. Now that we have all of that out of the way, over on the left-hand side, let's click into privacy. Within privacy, if we go down just a little bit, there's a section for a microphone and camera input. And the first option says, use microphone to chat with voice. Over here, let's toggle that on. And right over here, it says chat with voice. Right down below, let's click on enable. And right over here, we can now see the green toggle. This means that chat with voice is currently enabled. Here I am now in Roblox, and you'll notice that there's this icon over my head. Currently, my microphone is muted, but if I click on this icon, I can now speak to everyone else on this map. I could click on it again, and that'll toggle my microphone off. Up in the top left-hand corner, we can click on this icon, and here I can see all the different people who are currently in Roblox. If you would like to mute individuals, you can click on this icon, and that'll turn off their audio. Right up on top, you can also click into settings, and if we scroll down just a little bit, here you can configure your input device, where this is basically your microphone, and you could also configure your output device. Here, you could scroll through, and you could choose the mic that you'd like to use, or the speakers that you would like to use. All right, that was easy. Let me know if it worked for you down in the comments. If you ran into any issues, let me know what they were. All right, I'll see you next time.